Well, now we're at Crazy Horse. Yeah. And um, much like our hiking adventures, we are ill prepared for the evening's events. <laughs> what do you mean ill prepared? It's cold up oh, here, man. Once the sun goes down, it, it yeah. drops a lot. So we're up in the mountains and we're in shorts and t-shirt. We didn't forward thing. Yeah. We didn't think it was going to be like 65 degrees up here. Yeah. It's cold. It's chilly. That's Crazy Horse. They're not done with it yet. Um, yeah. There's a model over here. We'll show you exactly what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's going to look really cool. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's, it's odd that we can't get any closer. You can, you got to buy a bus well, tour. We got to take the bus tour. $35 yeah. to get in here per vehicle. Per vehicle, yeah. Three or more people. Uh -huh. And then you got to buy a bus ticket to go closer to the rock. <laughs> it's a rock. But it is cool. It's a cool. But it's not finished. You yeah. can see, you can see the face up there, mm -hmm. and that extension out out in front is going to be him pointing, pointing. and yeah. below that is going to be his horse. Yeah. So that'll I'm, be cool. I'm curious how long it's going to take for all this. I wonder time. how long they've been doing it so far. Yeah. We'll have so to educate ourselves. We will go and look and find museums, out. Five museums. You get access to five museums. Yeah. So I think, and again, we thought we're going to come out here, we're going to see a piece of rock, and then we're going to leave. Had no idea there was so much stuff out stuff here. Yeah. Or else we probably would have planned to come earlier. To come earlier. Yeah. But it probably would have been a lot crowded. It would have been more crowded. Earlier. Sure. So yeah. either way, this is Crazy yeah. Horse. We'll show you as much as we can. Uh, you won't see it, but we'll be freezing. <laughs> I'm already freezing. <laughs> I'm cold. All right. All right, so the mountain doesn't look like much. Yeah. But this is what it's gonna look like. Yes. Very impressive when it gets done. <laughs> Why are you giggling? He's gonna have nipples. <laughs> well, yeah, people have nipples. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Who's the poor guy that's gotta carve the nipples though? <laughs> All right, you showed up late. You got nipples today. You got nipple duty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go carve some nipples. <laughs> I don't know why it cracks me up. I just think it's funny. Yeah. Interesting little nipples there. So we'll definitely have to come back when it's done. I don't know how long that's going to be. We'll, yeah, we'll do we're some research and look. But uh, when it's done, we definitely got to come back and see the ginormous yeah. nipples. <laughs> well, I'm just coming back well, for that. From here, they're not going to be noticed. You never know. <laughs> Maybe the nipple guy gets a little chisel happy. Maybe it's cold now that day. <laughs> We're coming to win it. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go see the rest of okay, this too. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> So you found out why it's not finished? Yes, I did. What's the reason? Funding. It is Ran not- out of, Ran slap out of money. It is not government funded. Oh uh, yeah, because when we came in, we asked if it was a national it's monument, not a national and it's park. not. Yeah. Or else we would've got so, it for free. It's all by donations is how they fund the project. Oh, okay. So that's why it's taking forever. It started in 1948. Yeah. They've been doing this for 73 years and only got some little face. So. <laughs> I don't know that we'll be alive when it's finished. We ain't we even. Get some serious funding going. We ain't even going to be around to see the nipples. <laughs> our, our child may not be around to see the nipples. Maybe our great great grandchildren <laughs> will see the nipples. If you are watching this in 80 years from now and Crazy Horse is finished. Even though we're gone, please leave us a good comment Come at, yeah. and, and let us know <laughs> if there's nipples. How the nipples look. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Why is that the most interesting thing, guys? I don't know. It just looks weird on on the sculpture that they're modeling it after. Yeah. They're abnormal nipples to me, and I guess that's why it just sticks out. Well, yeah. hopefully it'll be progress, and we'll be able to come back come and back see something, and see something different. new. On something it. new. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, we'll see. To be continued. Maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we made it to Deadwood, South Dakota. Yes. And it's not too far from the from the RV park and yeah. a, a, a beautiful ride out here. Yes. And so Deadwood is, I guess, the most famous for Wild Bill. So, yeah. Hickok was killed here. Yeah. We're actually standing in the bar that he was shot and killed in by Jack McCall back in 1876. Yes. So it's a cool piece of history here. Yes. And you can tour it down there. For yeah. $10, you can go down there and they'll show you. So this is the upstairs of the bar. There's a downstairs bar where the actual number 10 saloon is. Yeah where he was actually shot. And then down the road, there's another bar where they actually do the reenactment. reenactment. That's not where it took place, but they do have the chair that he was, that he was shot sitting in when he yeah. shot. And I'm sure that they have it all set up with the dead man's hand, yeah. the two aces, two eights, which is the hand that he was playing in poker at the time that he got killed. Yeah. So that's now known as dead man's hand. Yeah. But very cool place, yeah. cool history. I'm so it. we're gonna walk through downtown Deadwood and we'll take you along with us. Wild Bill is, spoiler alert, Wild Bill Hickok is going to get shot by Jack McCall in the back of his head until he's dead. Until he's dead. No. And I got a feeling with the, with the that the poker hand that he has yeah. is going to be aces and eights. That's just, that's just a wild guess. Well, we'll Let's see. see how good I do. Okay, we'll uh, see. Well, here's the star of the show. I think the bartender is really the star. Uh, I think the, the I bartender think, has a critical role. I don't think this story is even really about Wild Bill. Serves drinks, distributes cash. Yeah. So how was it? Like, like point blank range watching in, Wild in Bill the, take in, his last in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> now I will tell you from one combat vet to another. Okay. When that shot went off. Yeah. I peed a little bit. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. I was filming it, but I bet you while I, while I was filming it, when that gun went off, you'd probably see the camera do one of these those jolts. <laughs> it scared me a little bit too. I don't think I peed, but yeah. uh, but it definitely caught me off guard. I, I would say that Ground, ground Zero was, was definitely a fun place to be today. Yeah, you did a great job, man. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so what'd you think about Deadwood? Very nice. Awesome place, man. Cool, cool little town. And you know, the town this way is is, is bigger. Yes. But the main street up here is just, it's kind of like it was back in the old it's days. It's an old west walkway, yeah. Yeah, it's its way more touristy. Well, yeah. <laughs> but um, if you go inside the places, the bars are all old style bars and yeah. saloons. And School. and uh, the reenactments were really cool. Yeah, those were cool. Jerry was the bartender. Yeah. For the uh, reenactment of the killing of Wild Bill, which is pretty funny. And he overacted. Yeah, he's an overactor. <laughs> just a little bit of an overactor. <laughs> But he did a good job. Yeah. And it was cool. And uh, so definitely recommend coming to Deadwood if you ever come down here by Rapid City, South Dakota. Yeah. Deadwood's a definitely must. It's about 
an hour ride from Rapid City. So if you're in that area. Yeah. Uh, but there are RV parks around here. Probably yeah. more expensive. Oh yeah, the closer you the get, closer the you more get. But cost. everything out here is gonna be expensive because you got you got Deadwood and Rushmore and Crazy Horse yeah. and all it's that. It's like stuff. going to Orlando. Yeah. You're gonna it's, you're gonna pay high prices every week. Yeah, and they're gonna jack up the prices on you, yeah. but uh, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth coming out here. It's very cool. Not just for the town, but just for the scenery, the even scenery driving out here. Is beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. So uh, Deadwood's very cool. Yeah. And uh, let's go see what else we can get into. All right. All right. Well, we're at the Devil's Tower. Yeah. The big rock. <laughs> it's cold. Long drive to come see a big rock. No, but it's interesting. It is interesting. There's a guy up there climbing, man. Yeah, that's ballsy. Yeah, he's going to the top. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. No. I wouldn't recommend it. And hey, we didn't bring our hiking shoes today, but you don't we need them. We purposely didn't. Yeah, you don't like, need them. We, we recognize yeah. today. It's like a, it's an improved trail around the tower. It's only about two miles. So tennis shoes, just fine. Yes. We got water in the backpack. Yep. We're actually prepared for a hike today. <laughs> yeah. That's a first. I know. <laughs> Look at us go. <laughs> we learn. We can yeah, learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But it's going to be cool. We're out here with um, Jerry and Teresa from Happy Place Diaries. Gorgeous day. Awesome day. Very windy day. Yeah, so hopefully the wind doesn't impede too much. But we're going to yeah. walk all the way around the tower. And uh, maybe we'll see some wildlife. Yeah, I hope We saw some, some deer. Some deer coming up the mountain. Saw Jake Jake's, already. Jake, Jake the, the snake. snake. <laughs> already saw him. So, I mean, hopefully as we're walking around, we'll be able to see some more, some more wildlife. Yeah. Hopefully it's not just a uh, video of Big Rock. Even though... It's, an it's a really rock. cool big rock. Yeah, we got you. And parking is, is hard here. It's terrible. It, we got a spot, luckily. Yeah, we lucked out. But uh, get here early if you're coming out here because yeah. it's right. crazy busy. Yeah. And it's tight. A little tight. It's tight. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> We did learn how the uh, tower was formed. Yes. Magma. Magma. Hot magma. Forced upward. Yeah, I guess the, the tower was like the the hole. Yeah. <laughs> it was the hole of the volcano. The and then hole. yeah, when it hardened, it plugged the plugged hole of the volcano. Yeah. And so that pressure still was pushing, but it now it's hardened and plugged, so it pushed that whole plug uh, yeah. up out of the earth. And created this. And that's Devil's Tower. Yeah. Very cool. Pretty interesting. It took 50 million years to do it, but it but it got it done. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> yeah. In the grand scheme of things, 50 million years, eh, no. not that long. Exactly. We're a little over halfway now, and uh, don't be silly. like we said, it wasn't bad at all. The, the trails are, are paved, a little bit of elevation, yeah, but not terrible overall. We were under the impression it was pretty flat around it, but it's not, it's up, it's down, it is up and down. Um, but it's a good workout, and it's not, but like 1.3 miles, it can't be that bad. No, we're over halfway, and um, got to see some wildlife, saw some deers, yeah, and uh, that's that's really all we've seen since we saw the snake earlier, <laughs> but uh. It's cool to see something. Yeah. And they got these prayer cloths. Yeah. It's like a bunch of right yeah, a bunch of cloths uh, that, that are tied to trees. And I don't know the story behind that, 
but uh, i guess they've uh, obviously been preyed on yeah you know? they got signs that says like please don't disturb Third or whatever room. so yeah. i'm assuming that you don't need like special permission so if you want to do like a uh if you want to put a prayer cloth up yeah you can tie it to a tree so that's pretty cool leave your mark at devil's tower yeah yeah it's very nice oh yeah now we're going downhill yeah i like downhill this is nice <laughs> That was a ton of fun. Yes. But um, there's so much more. We didn't see everything. We didn't see that. So it's, it's coming soon because we got to go see more stuff yes. and show you stuff from the Rapid City area. Yeah. Because everything, there's like so many things within an hour or two drive, drive. from there that you. Yeah. Yeah, we did a lot more. So everyone's we like, you got to see this, you got to see this. And I'm like, but I don't have a month yeah. to see it all. So. But um, before we close the video, I wanted to make sure that there was a couple of things we wanted to mention. Yeah. About the places that we showed. Mm -hmm. And so Crazy Horse. Uh, we did find out as we were leaving i talked to one of the guys and asked them like what's the eta man when is this thing gonna be finished you know because it started in 1948 like what, what's going on you know and i said do they work every day on this thing no. and they do well five, five days, days a, week. a week during the week they work on it every day and they're taking out chunks of rock the size of the front door of this place because yeah. that's how he compared it to me museum. he's yeah. at the look at the front door they're taking out rocks that size every day yeah. five days a week and so I'm like, okay, well, that sounds like progress. That sounds like good. So. And he's like, so um, in eight to 10 years, they will have done a his, part of his hair. Yeah. His, his arm. His whole arm with the finger pointing. And some of the mane. And some of the horse's mane. Yeah. Eight to 10 years. Yeah. We're definitely not going to see the finished product. We might not live to see the finished product. <laughs> now, we mentioned in the video, we may eventually like when we're like 80s 90s year if we're still alive we may see the nipples my <laughs> <laughs> yeah i might stay alive just to see that <laughs> and then um for deadwood we wanted to mention that um there's just a lot more out to do to do than what we yeah. did or showed so there's and they do like uh gunfights in the street yeah three or four times a day mm -hmm. um the reenactment of wild bill's assassination yes it's done like every hour yeah in the uh saloon. number 10 saloon mm -hmm. so uh that's pretty cool too so yeah. you could spend very little money out there or you could you spend a ton of money right. out there yeah. we spent a little bit uh, we had to have if you go to the number 10 saloon you have to have a, uh, a whiskey well you had to have it i didn't have to have a whiskey. it's part of the experience <laughs> yeah so we all had some whiskey and sat there and watched the uh the reenactment mm -hmm. so that was yeah. very cool and then um, wanted to mention about Devil's Tower mm -hmm. that it's uh, it's twenty five dollars per vehicle to get in, unless you have a National Parks Pass. Yeah. If you're a veteran or disabled person, then you can go get your National Parks Pass at the ranger station yeah. and get in for free to all mm -hmm. national parks. Yeah. So make sure you do that if you're a veteran or if you're disabled. Mm -hmm. But those three things were awesome. Yes. We are loving the West. Loving it. Other than the drive days are long. Travel days are long. Travel days are a lot longer. There's just not nothing it's, between these places. No, so we like literally travel. nothing in between them. I stared at wall to wall mountains. <laughs> well, that's pretty. And and farmland. It's pretty, but like six hours. Oh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Like, okay. But yeah, you're like, I want to see a building. I want to see some structure <laughs> of some kind. Can I get a Walmart? Can, <laughs> can I get a stop and go convenience store i mean something yeah so uh that's really the only bad part about the west everything yeah. else is great uh we're having a good time and and much much more to come yes just from rapid city even yes so it's coming up soon and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero mm -hmm. if you want to get involved with uh, helping us help vets out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description of the video appreciate you watching i'll see you next time bye